Hi, everyone. This is Ron Roberts, and I'm outside here on Elementary. And if you're looking over my shoulder, you'll know why I am here. Because here on this evening is celebrating 50 years as a school. That's right, 50 years. 1974, Huron opened up. That's pretty impressive. And I want you to know this school still looks beautiful. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. We are so excited to celebrate 50 years at Huron. Outside, we have food trucks, we have kid games, we have the choir performing, we have kids in the gym. There is a balloon animal artist, temporary tattoos, and face painting. We have a bunch of carnival games outside, Coney Island food truck, Firehouse Pizza, and Kona, as well as bounce houses. We had a committee comprised of our teaching staff, support staff, our custodian, our PTO members that helped put this together. They had a vision from the start and that was that the community could come and be a part of this huge celebration. It is going to be a wonderful celebration, so let's go check out some of the things going on to honor Huron for its 50th anniversary. Our first graders are ready, so I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. McTaggart, our music teacher, who is also an alumni of Huron, and she is going to lead our first graders in a few songs. I want to ask you, uh, did you attend Huron? Did you go here from kindergarten through fifth grade? Were you a real fan of the lunchroom food when you went here too? And your favorite food was it pizza? What was your favorite thing to do? Cone ice. Cone ice. What's that flavor called? I just did a mix of almost every single flavor. Okay, and what do you, what, what do you like that? Because it looks like a rainbow. What is it about Kona ice that you like? It just tastes good. What flavor? Uh, grape or blue raspberry. How are the fries? <laughs> good. Are they good? Are you going to eat that whole tray? Probably. You're probably going to eat that whole tray. And do you, let me ask you something, look at it. Do you like ketchup? Yes. So you'd recommend Kona Ice to your friends? Would you recommend Kona Ice? All right. If you get anything out of this whole video, try Kona Ice. What was your favorite activity here today? The bounty house. The Fortnite bounty house. I know you don't go to Huron. Do you wish you went to Huron? Yes. That's right. There we go. We have a little vouch for Huron Elementary from a kid who doesn't go to Huron. So, kids, thanks for being here. Enjoy more food. How much do you love Huron? Whoa, there you go. You went here. What grades What grades were you here? Uh, K through 5, 1976 through 82. Right at the beginning. What's your connection to Huron? 
also our principal, Kelly Schock. Actually, her mother was my principal. What kind of a principal was she? She was fantastic. She didn't let me get away with anything. So that was uh, one of the things I... So that was a full-time job. It, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. Would you recommend this school to other Huskies? There you go. A testimonial from the Huron Husky. A very important person at Huron right there. Thank you, first graders, for that beautiful song to start us out. We are so excited to share some more songs with you. Our next song talks about friendship, and as long as I've been at Huron, friendship is a pretty big deal. So we'll share, you've got a friend in me. Kathy, when did you teach here at Huron? I started here in 1981, 80, 81 school year. And you taught here until you retired, which was when? 2017. If you ever see a building that looks beautiful, it is this building because Don is here. Don, how many years have you been in Huron? This coming August, I'll be here 30 years in this building. So that's why it looks that way. Kelly, how long have you been here? Eight years. You've been here eight years. I cannot believe that. Denise, you have been a board member for how long? 25 years. So when you come to something like this as a 50-year celebration, what do you think? I think that it's just wonderful that there's this legacy and that I see people here that I know that were teachers and I see students and I know Chris went here as a student. And I think it's just it just shows what a community we still have in our district. So when you were here, and, and I was here too when Kathy was here. We were teaching. Yes. Hours. What principal did you work for the most? Scott Burns. Yeah, you had Mr. Plow too. I was Mr. Plow. So it went wonderful administrators when we were here. So when you say this was the best place, why do you say that? I think the people. We were a community. We cared about our community and the support from each other. We went through a lot together. I've always said this isn't a job, this is a passion here. 
and a lot of it's due to the people I work with. The staff is phenomenal. And through all the changes through the 30 years, the staff never changes because the people are the same who come here. I am so thankful that I've been, a, been able to be a teacher here as well as a student here. I started first grade in 1983, and um, when I first started teaching here, my former teacher, Miss Chris, told me all about the Huron song. So I looked through the cupboards, found the mimeographed copy, and we've been singing it ever since. Please feel free to sing along if you know the Huron song. Huron is a school for me. When you think about memories of here, what, what kind of stands out to you? Just what do you, when you think back to here on days? Oh, I think of great friends I made, wonderful families that I encountered. What other jobs do you do around here that maybe aren't part of your job description? Well, we just renovated the uh, rock gardens out front and it took several months and uh, I think they're beautiful. I got some help from a wonderful lady who's on grounds. Her name is Jules. She's worked for Weekends and she came, came with all this knowledge. The outdoors is, is every bit as important as the indoors. It's been amazing working with everybody to plan this event and wonderful to see so many of our former staff come back this evening and visit and reminisce. It's just a special feeling. Yeah, and as a former teacher here myself, I've loved seeing former students. I love being with kids, so it was fun to teach them and had the freedom to teach them the way we wanted to. So our kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Ivaldi, found these for many of us, and uh, we're using, we are the Huron Huskies, so we're sporting our Husky paws today. All right, there you go. I always like to say Don owns this place because he's so dedicated to it. And what, what's your drive for doing that, for, being, for doing your job so well? Making other people happy, making their jobs easier. My goal has always been as soon as possible. You need a table, it's there in a minute or under. Anything you need, you get it right away because that means you can continue with your job. So you have to think beyond yourself. I love listening to his passion and what he does because it does make a difference in this building. Three big supporters of Chippewa Valley Schools on your Board of Education. You couldn't have better board members. Thanks for being here tonight. Kathy, thanks for being here. Thanks for celebrating Huron tonight. Huron was a community back in the 80s when I was a teacher here, and it remains a community now. A wonderful school, and a lot of it has to do with wonderful leadership. So thanks a lot, Kelly, for all your leadership here. Congratulations, Huron community, on 50 wonderful years. Happy birthday, Huron! Well, thank you all so much for supporting our first graders and coming out this evening. We're gonna end, we're gonna end with a celebration.
celebration wouldn't be complete without a little happy birthday. So here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dear mom. Happy birthday to you. Thank you all. Have a wonderful, fun evening. So can we give a round of applause to Mrs. McTaggart? And our first grade teachers, Mrs. Shalas, Mrs. Kaleshi, and Mrs. Golgo. 50 years under the belt of Huron Elementary School. I hope you had a great time and saw all the wonderful things that went on. And I'm sure you're probably thinking, I wish I had gone up to Huron. Well, I want you to know something. I've expended a lot of energy going around this school and talking to a lot of wonderful people. And I'm gonna go right here when I finish and enjoy myself about 13 hot, no, I'm not having 13 hot dogs. I'm having 50. Thanks for being with us today. <laughs>